Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here, Real Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing some talk today as well as a review. We're going to be talking about hair care products. Okay guys, I love this brand. I talk about this brand. Oh my goodness. I talk about this brand a lot out here on my channel. This is one of my favorite of favorite brands. I absolutely adore this brand. This is the Shea Moisture brand. I think they have wonderful, wonderful hair products. They really have great hair conditioners. They have great hair masks great shampoos, uh, body scrubs, skincare, lotions. I just really do love their products. I really love the Shea Moisture products. I also love their makeup, their cosmetics. So if you've not tried those, check those out. I love their blushers and their, their blush blushers and their eyeshadows are fab. They are fab. They really are. They are fantastic. I really love their eyeshadows. Their eyeshadows are so rich, so pigmented, uh, just wonderful stuff. I love their leave-in hair conditioners, their hair detanglers, their hair products, their hair serums. I think, honestly, um, I have only found one or two products over the last few years that I don't care for, that I don't like by this brand. But overall, for the most part, this is a brand I repurchased a million times over. I love their stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay, so um, off with the braggery and on to the product, if you know what I mean. Anyhow, I like to buy the Shea Moisture products. I like to buy them from Target. I like to buy them from SwansonsVitamins.com. I also like to buy from Vitacost.com. You guys know that's one of my favorite stores. And I buy their products at Walgreens. And I'm not sure if Walmart has their products or not. But anyhow, for the most part, Vitacost.com and Swanson's Vitamin is really reasonably priced on their products. Okay, let's get started. This is the Shea Moisture. This is the Raw Shea Butter. This is the Reconstructive Finishing Elixir with sh with Shea Butter, uh, with Kelp and Argan Oil. This is for dry damaged hair. This is really great for frizz control and shine. Okay, it's sulfate free and it's color safe. If your hair is color treated like mine, oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I've got a lot of hair color going on with my hair. I darken my hair during the fall and winter months. I lighten my hair up during the summer. I actually put a few highlights in my hair last week and I've lightened it up a little much, okay? A little too much. I've got a little bit of the hot roots going on, so um, kind of overdeveloped up towards my roots and I've got, um, yeah, my highlights are too light and I've got what is referenced as hot roots? Okay, I'm a licensed cosmetologist, so you know, the hair care world is, I love it. I really do. I love, love, love hair care. Um, yeah, any hair, anyhow, anywho. Okay, I have dry damaged hair. I have naturally wavy hair. I have thick hair, have long hair, have a lot of hair. Okay, so my hair is naturally wavy. I do have frizziness going on. I'm very prone to frizziness. My hair frizzes out. You know how that goes. Uh, and it's not the pretty, the pretty frizzy kind that, that looks good on other people. You know what I mean? I have, my hair is uh, frizzy in certain areas. It's very uh, undistributed, so to speak. The two front sides of my hair are very frizzy, and the back of my hair is fairly straight, almost, I don't want to say pen straight, but it is fairly straight. You know what I mean? So I have frizziness in unwanted areas, and it's not evenly distributed. I really wish my hair was frizzy all over rather than just certain spots. You know what I mean? So anyhow, this was really been working good. This has been helping with my frizziness. This has been helping my hair lay more flat. Now, it has not limped to my hair out and made it limp or anything like that, but it is give it the right touch. And this is a finishing elixir. This is something you use on your hair after you've styled your hair. So after you have done your hairstyle for the day, you've used your curling wand, you've used your straightening iron, you've used your blow dryer for your perfect blowout or whatever it is. So after you have achieved your hairstyle for the day or for the night or for whatever, you know what I mean? After you've achieved your hairstyle is when you apply this product. This is a finishing touch. This is the one of the last products that you'll be applying into your hair. Um, you're at the end of your styling, at the end of your hair care routine, so to speak. So, the reason I'm trying to say this and stress this, do not, do not uh, put this on your hair and then use heat. That's not the way you apply this product. So, do not apply this to your hair and then put heat to your hair because it, it's, it's not good. It will not work that way. You use this after the heat. So you use this after you've done your blowout. You use this on your hair after you've done your, your curling wand, your straightening iron, your straightening wand, your curling iron, 
uh, whatever, you know, you could be using a heat waver, you can be using a crimper, whatever it may be. This is something that you use after you've already applied the heat to your hair. So just to be kind of particular on that. And I really did not know at first how to use this per se. And I had to do a lot of investigating, looking it up, researching, and really reading up on how to use it. So after you have done all the heat styling to your hair, after you have styled your hair and your hair is nice and dry and you're good to go, what you do is apply this on your hair. So rub it between your hands. Small amount, it doesn't take much, quite honestly, it really doesn't. I have already used this numerous times and I've used very little of the product because a little bit goes sincerely a long way. And I just start down towards the ends of my hair where my hair needs the most help, you know, it's the most damage. And of course your ends are the oldest part of your hair that, you know, is the most damaged. It is the most worn out. So I like to start at the ends of my hair and um, just smooth it between my hands and I start at the ends of my hair and kind of work it up towards the roots of my hair and uh, you're done. And what it does, it really helps frizziness. It helps combat the flyaways. It helps my hair lay flatter. It is a finishing elixir. So it's just one of these products that you finish up your hairstyle with and uh, you're done. You know what I mean? So use it after you've already used your heat products, okay? I uh, just want to say that and get that out there because I know sometimes you're more tempted to use this before you do your heat styling, but don't do that because this is not the way it works. This is not really a hair oil per se. It's not a typical hair oil that you use. Uh, it is cruelty free. It's not tested on animals. Is another reason why I do love the brand Shea Moisture. It is EDTA free. It is mineral oil free. It is phthalate free, paraben free. No um, icky chemicals or carcinogens or cancerous causing chemicals or agents. None of that icky stuff. So this is really a great product. And it has that typical Shea Moisture smell that uh, smells a little bit like, uh, you know, it has that nutty uh, smell to it. Reminiscent and very similar of Shea Butter, you know, in which it should smell like that. It smells like a little bit of a souped up version of Shea Butter. It has a very nutty smell to it. So... I don't know how you know how else to describe it. Honestly, I am not extremely in love with or super crazy about the smell, but I do love the product so much. It is a total trade off. You know what I mean? So this is for dry damaged hair. I definitely have dry damaged hair. I have flyaways. I have frizziness. I have lack of moisture. I have all that going on, and you know, a, a side dish of tacos. You know what I mean? And some nachos thrown in. So I do have a lot going on with my hair. Beautiful products like this help me maintain my hair, revive my hair, revamp my hair, repair my hair, breathe new life into my hair, so to speak. So this is beautiful stuff. Okay, guys? Great product. Really nice elixir. Okay, um, not sure what else I can say. You know, I mean, I, I want to continue on. <laughs> I want to keep talking about hair care. I want to be talking about what's going on with me this summer. I want to talk about life. But... You guys know, I know you do not have forever and a day to sit and watch YouTube videos. YouTube's a beautiful thing, but we don't have all day. I wish we did. Okay, guys, I love each and every one of you so very much. I love hearing from you. I love your comments. I love your personal messages. Love, love, love everybody bits and pieces. I love love you to bits and pieces and to the moon and back. I really do. Okay, guys, and uh, if you'd like, you can follow me on Pen Interest or some people call it pen interest or Pinterest or whatever you'd like to call it. But you can follow me on the Big P Network there. Love you guys so very much. Take care now. Bye.